tell you about my old work. I was a marketing, marketing consultant. I used to work and live in China. And I traveled all over the country. As you may or may not know, China is huge. If you think the UK is big, well, we could fit 39 UK in China. And I had to travel everywhere. I need to talk to my clients about their business solutions. I need to provide training for them, the sales training, marketing training, and on and on and on. And take a guess, how many business trips I got per year? Approximately 127 days. And how productive it looked like. Let me tell you, one day, my clients call me, Hi, Pistachio, could you, complete, could you please come to our company next Monday? I would say, hang on, let me check my schedule. I just finished my another business trip. Uh, Monday, sorry, unfortunately, I'm totally full. Let's say Tuesday, uh, 8 a.m. All right, it's not three in the plan either, but 9 a.m. Looks fine, but uh, the weather forecast is totally unpredictable. Let's say 10 a.m. finally, after such small, small, small conversation, I finally arrived at the airport. But it will take me one hour to get to the airport. It will take me another one hour to take a taxi and go to the hotel. It will take me another one hour to settle down in the hotel and get ready for the meeting. And you can see how productive my business trip looked like. That's only a tiny piece part of my business trade, a tiny part. And sometimes I think I'm totally tapped out. I need to sit down and take a break. <sighs> now, do you know what can solve my problem? That's today. Today, metaverse. Metaverse might save my life. How am I going to solve the problem? Well, now are you ready? Please allow me to bring you to the future of the workplace. The metaverse workplace. Suppose my clients call me again, but at the moment, my client is in the UK and I'm in China. So usually, it will take me 15 to 16 hours from China to the UK and even into overcome the jet lag. And now, how long it will take me to the UK? Look at me. One step. <laughs> then I'm in the UK because I'm in the metaverse workplace. But if in the real world, I need to book tickets, I need to book hotel, I need to get ready for my luggage. But what do I need in the metaverse workplace if I want to meet people together? Take a guess. So, to join up, all we need is a headset. What's going to happen? So, suppose, even though I am not in the metaverse workplace at the moment, but my clients were in their high side. What can happen? So the economy now, while we're in the different world, here I'm in the real world. They are in the virtual world. So I'm on the screen, even though I didn't wear my headset. So what can happen? I still can upload the PowerPoint, deliver the presentation, uh, get sales training done, and we can discuss the business solutions together. And the more important thing is, did you see our clients? they can choose to appear how they look like. They can change their faces again and again as many times as they want because they are in the metaverse workplace. Wow, and how productive the meeting could be. We don't need to book tickets. We don't need to sort out the weather forecast. And those things can, 
can be done in just in a metaverse workplace. And after such meeting, I feel great, my energy is boosting. Now, let's take a think. So, how the metaverse change our workplace? Some benefits over here. First is cost saving. It's definitely save our cost because we don't need to book tickets, right? We don't need to get ready for the trains and the, for the flight and for anything not. Just save our cost. And bots will be happy too because it saves their budget. Another is protect our environment. Why is that? You don't need to get transportation. Do we have to get a taxi? No. Do you have to get a plane? No, I don't think so. Do you have to get trains? Any transportation all around the metaverse workplace? How are we going to work for that? Just what I'm looking now, I'm the red dot. I'm getting from my wear head side. And all the things can be done in a small space. Protect our environment. Also boost our productivity. Do I have to spend time on you know, going to another city, across China, across the world? No, because I'm in the metaverse workplace. But take a moment to think. As in your future, is business trip all part of work? In our career, let me take things. You may study engineering. You may study mathematics. You may study as a doctor. What do we need? Do we need to improve our skills day by day to get more professional, to be an expert? You want to survive in such a competitive environment? And how can we do it? Practice and improve our skills. Talk to the cutting edge experts. So, we need to scale up. How can we scale up? And all we need is a headset. For example, in the medical industry, I suppose as a doctor, before they get ready for the formal operation, they need to be very, very professional, get more prepared for their operation with their patients because they want to save people's lives. They are the angels of saving humans' lives. And how can they do it? If they don't have enough practice, how can they be, feel like they are, can be so responsible for us? I don't think so. But in a metaverse world place, they can get ready for the practice. They even can feel the heart breaks. Because they are in the metaverse workplace. And more important thing is, they can get more practice as they can. They can practice for 10 times, 100 times, and even 100,000 times, if they want. And don't forget, in the metaverse workplace, it can bring humans together. If we want to study technology from, let's say, Australia, New Zealand, the US, the UK. They can get access to the experts in different places and they can all get together to get conversation, to get practice because we are in a metaverse workplace. There are less boundaries. And they got hands on practice together, make everything can be so possible in the metaverse workplace. Let's say some benefits for this. Even though we're just uh, a doctor, but we can feel how it helps us. Industrial training. If you want to be more professional, to be an expert, to boost your skills, and that helps us. But is that all? We are talking about meeting people in the metaverse world place. We're talking about skill up. But don't forget, in a metaverse world place and in our career path, all the foundation, all the infrastructure should be built up in advance before anything happened. So, to build up, 
what do we need? All we need is a headset. At the moment, I don't really not telling you my personal story. I studied architecture in my college, and it was quite challenging for me. Why is that? Because when I finish drawing the blueprint, it's very hard for me to imagine how the prototype looks like. Is that big? Or is that small? How can it be installed on the wall? And how it can be, you know, match our client's requirements? It's very hard for me as female to imagine how it can work. And I had to build my own prototype by my hands-on practice. I got metal materials and sometimes it can even hurt myself because it's too authentic. Now, what if we are in the metaverse workplace? What's going to happen? Do we have to imagine all the things can appear in front of our eyes? It won't be that challenging for me because it just automatically appears. Do I have to measure the size on my hands? No, I don't think so because metaverse, all things can be done automatically. It is called technology. And is that all? Well, we're talking about building up. Yeah, I think it's quite enough. So let's see what kind of benefits for us. First, improve our product development. To some extent, it saves my imagination because I don't really need to think too hard about how it's going to work for us. And also, improve the accuracy. Because I don't need to measure it by my hands, and it just appeared according to my requirements, according to our client's requirements. We talk lots, lots of possibilities. It's a lot, isn't it? But is that all? Here, I want to tell you some risks. First is distance. During the COVID-19 pandemic, how long haven't you met your friends, your family, your colleagues? Three months, or six months, or even longer than that. And once you met each other again, how do you feel? Do you feel like you're losing some connection with them? Are you feeling you're still close to them? and in the metaverse workplace, it may not be very necessary for us to meet people again because all the things can be done in a small space. Maybe you just sit in your bedroom. Maybe you just sit standing in the red store. And all things can be done. Why do we need to meet people? I cannot think about other reasons for that. Distant. Another is authenticity. If you remember, when I talk about drawing up, people can choose to appear how they look like. They can change their faces again, again, and again, as many times as they want. And how can it happen? Can you really recognize the people who are in front of you, who they are? Are they your colleagues? Are they your friends? Or just strangers? It's very hard to imagine in a way. That's authenticity. We need to think about it. Uh, access. Well, we could talk about that. Does anyone have the accessibility to use the software and hardware? Can they really afford to buy them? And also about companies. Their financial accessibility. Not many companies can be rich enough and have so much budget to buy such well, quite expensive equipment to set up their infrastructure. And also, the boundaries. For people who are currently working at this moment, I would say especially during COVID-19, can you recognize how many hours you spend in your bedroom just 
walking. Is there anyone who can remind you? Please take a break. Please take a break. You're in the COVID time. You just remote working. You don't need to work so hard. Who can remind you for that? Because there's no specific boundary. You don't need to go to the office at 8 a.m. in the early morning and or back home at 5 p.m. You just keep walking, 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 and automatically being a workaholic. And in a metaverse workplace, it's just going to happen again, maybe, because when you wear your headset, you're immersed in the metaverse workplace. No one going to say, please stop walking. You're just uh, working too hard. No, it's, I think you're doing great because you enjoy being addicted to working in your bedroom. You are so enjoying the moment that you are in the metaverse workplace. What do you think about that? Yes, there are some risks over here. We have to remind ourselves there are always two sides. But I want to remind you, in the metaverse workplace, there are huge potential. We could not forget that is bring everyone together wherever we are. And all we need is a headset. Thank you.